Hello and welcome PML fans. I am your host Joseph Moore here and with me I got the coach of the New Orleans Apes, Melvin. Hello everyone. How's it going Melvin? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good and yourself? I'm doing good. All right so let's talk about this team you drafted. Did you get what you wanted for your first pick? Uh, absolutely. Um, I did say that I was going to draft draft a dragon type. Uh, I was either going to pick uh, Salamence was my number one pick. Then it was going to be probably Dragapult. And then it would have been Dragon Knight. Would have mm -hmm. been my third option. But I went with my first option there. Yeah, I think the other two got snagged up before your turn anyway. Oh yeah, absolutely. And then if anything came down to it, if if Salamence would have got snagged, I would have went with with a good fairy type. Okay. Possibly. Well, luckily you got the Salamence you wanted. Oh, yeah. how, how do you feel about your overall draft? I think I did a lot better. Um, me and me and a friend, uh, we were talking it over uh, before draft and uh, and uh, we went over some of the picks and everything. Um, and I, I told him like, usually I just draft people. I mean, sorry, Pokemon that, uh, that I usually use all, all the time. But, uh, this time I think I need to draft like, I, uh, like a team that can sink, uh, within, I guess. Yeah. So, so, something more competitively viable than just your all your favorites on one team. Correct. Okay. Well, you certainly look like you did that picking up uh, Indeedy, Mandiba, Salamance, a late pick of Sensor Scorch. Your team yes. looks pretty solid. Um, did you get sniped at all? Um, I'd say yes. Um, like kind of like towards the end. Uh, and it's between you and Dusty. <laughs> uh, you guys both picked uh, both uh, fire types that uh, I was going to go with, but uh, you actually picked picked uh, you picked up my fire type that I did want at first, and then the last go round, I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to choose choose uh, this one, and then uh, Dusty got it just before me, so yeah, I couldn't. I, so like I couldn't be I couldn't be mad about it, but you know, I was like, hey, you know, maybe next time. Maybe next time, for sure, man. And uh, there's still plenty of good Pokemon in free agency as well. Um, Absolutely. What's your favorite Pokemon on your team right now that you drafted? I would have to say is going to be Salamence. Um, the main reason why I did I did draft him. This season is because the last season, I think it was the doubles draft, if I'm not mistaken, or it could have been singles. Mm -hmm. uh, you uh, you actually had him, and uh, you did very well with him. Um, and uh, it's just the way that you handled him. Uh, handled him, it was very very good. Um, it wasn't always like, like go for the kill, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes you would have to set up first and then go for like the kill and everything like that. So th that actually worked out good. Um, and you actually gave me ideas to use him, actually. Yeah, I used him for the singles draft league. Okay. Almost made it to the championship, but cut short yeah. by Naganadel. Yeah, and that was one big thing that I was watching. Uh, I did watch last season, and uh, you were you were uh, uh, cut short there. But you know, it, it's all good. It's yeah. All good. If anyone can take Salamence somewhere, I know you can do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, so do you plan on changing any mons on your team? What's that? Do you plan on changing any mons on your team? Um, I see a couple. Um, I'm not really for sure exactly who. Um, I will say that uh, I had the option between Needle King 
and also and also Needle Queen, mm -hmm. my my buddy and me, we were talking it over, and he said uh, go for the bulk instead of speed. So that's why I chose I chose Needle Queen over over Needle King, and um, uh, let's see, uh, Delmise. Uh, it's a good Pokemon. Uh, I, I also seen you uh, use him, um, and, and and everything like that. Um, I did not notice into after the draft that that uh, Delmise, of course, it gets um, a rapid spin. So that's why I did draft him, and then plus that was also another another grass type that I did not have. Mm -hmm. But I forgot that uh, Mandibuzz it can learn uh, Defog. So, I mean, it kind of works the best in both ways because either I can get off hazards in off of off of both sides or I can just wrap a spin uh, yours off or or the person that I am battling uh, hazards away and yeah. uh, keep mine up. So it works out good both ways. Yeah, you got options on that, Brian. especially since you have plenty of Pokemon that can set them up. Yeah. So, how do you plan on making this team work without giving too much away? What's your strategy with this team? Um, defense. Uh, defense mixed with a little bit of offense. Um, I will say that if you hit hard and you have a good, a good, uh, deep, uh, a good, a good, uh, uh, balance, I guess, you know, yeah, and, and like a good strategy. I can work around it and uh, I can do a lot with it and everything like that. Um, I will definitely say that um, Salamence will not be my only threat. Um, I will have some uh, some other ones that are that are going to be some like uh, sleepers, I guess. Mm -hmm. But uh, people will just have to wait and see. Uh, I think ev everybody is. They will always be a threat. Uh, I never underestimate any any uh, any rival of mine or like a, a, a opponent. I guess uh, I take ev I take ev everyone serious. Um, but I, I can't and say just from future uh, battles that you and Dusty, you guys are a big big threat. We do have some new uh, faces here, so I have not got to battle them yet mm -hmm. so i can't say that they that they are good or bad but either way ev 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 everyone's good in their own way so that's what i'll say oh yeah man and um looking at your team here uh you do fall short of your cores by one mon like you don't i don't see a steel type or a water okay. type and that's uh, true you don't fill out those cores there do you feel like that matters or do you still think your team can uh, keep the balance um i will say absolutely it definitely does matter um as far as the water type i did not notice that i did not draft a water type pokemon but we were talking about that that i should have drafted a steel type pokemon but unfortunately i did not um so that was on me so instead of drafting uh, um, I still type before I drafted. Um, what was that Sandaconda? Uh, it was either grass. I mean, sorry. It, it, it was either ground or draft a steel type. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so like, um, I won't say steel type it was, but it was between that one and another one uh, that I should have drafted, but I didn't. I went Sandaconda instead. Alrighty, man. Well, it still looks like a team that can be pulled off, and there's plenty of time before week one to make any changes that you'd want to. Are you surprised by any Pokemon that weren't drafted by anyone? Um, I would actually have to go back on like the list and, and actually look at it and see. But I will say for like tier one, uh, Grimmsnarl, usually everybody drafts it at least will try and draft that at least. Mm -hmm. But I am surprised that, that he did not go or Tyranitar did not go. Um, 
we got like a lot of the uh, weather people out the way. Um, and speaking about a water type, um, when I drafted, I think it was Sandaconda mm -hmm. that that I drafted. No, wait. Okay, yeah, I think I'm not 100% sure. I, I'd have to uh, go back and uh, watch it again. But when I think it was Jennifer, I think that's her name. She drafted Polytoad. That was the one that my friend said I should have grabbed, but I did not pay attention to Polytoad. And that's one of the best ones out there. Uh, not saying that any other Pokemon that out that will set up weather cannot uh, find a way through it, but like you know, since 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 like the game is changing ev every day, mm -hmm. I would say that the water uh, weather that's the best setting, and I think that's where I might fall a little bit short at, but I think I can still pull it off though. Alrighty, man. For sure. Well, looking at your division, uh, what team do you feel will give you the most trouble this season? Um, I would honestly say it's between you and Dusty. Dusty has more of the defensive core, and his walls are going to be super hard to break through. And with you, um, it's just a matter of who you bring, what, and how do you play your game because you always uh, switch it up and and your battles are never like the same. So it's just like the style of, of your battles that kind of throw me off. <laughs> like it is a good way, but it's just that, you know, whenever you go for a certain movie, like why is he doing this? And then this is why. And then, and then it's pretty much GG. <laughs> I'm just like, oh yeah, okay, that's why. <laughs> Now, Dusty, on the other hand, it's just like sometimes he'll uh, throw out a move and you be like, what the fuck? Like, like, why? Like, oh, uh, why? And it comes back and it just it just beats you up all 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 day long. And he has some really good bulk on his team. So that's one that I definitely will have to try and break through. But it is breakable. And, you know, um. I, I will just say this to all of the coaches. Um, you, you just got to think smart, play smart, and watch out for that timer because it, it will come back and bite you in the butt if you are not careful. So mm -hmm. don't try and spend your time all day just trying to, you know, figure out strategies and stuff like that. The and I, and, setup, yeah. Yeah. And I do highly, highly, highly recommend to team build and try and think of strategies before your battle for you are not going into battle blind and stuff like that oh yeah man well i appreciate your time anything you want to say to the fans before we go uh good luck you guys um everybody um i hope everyone has has a has a great season and I will be looking forward to battling ev everyone. And this is the coach of the New Orleans Infernapes. All righty, man. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Later.